All right, so today we're gonna be doing a voltage reducer on this EasyGo TXT. Now, as you can see, I did a lithium conversion on this one. Um, I'll go over the way to do it on the lead acid version. Um, but in this one, we're gonna be using the, it's a more simpler voltage reducer. Um, looks like this guy, only four wires coming off. So there's no, no wire for the key switch. Um, so as you can see here, this is going to be the 12 volt, 20 amp. Um, and let me separate these. So these are gonna be going out, the red and the black are gonna be going out to the 48 volt point. As you can see on the back of this one, you have the option 24, 36 or 48 volt. And it will convert it down. Um, on this side, the black and yellow are gonna be for the 12 volt, 20 amp. Um, so we're, this is exactly what you get. You get this little box in the mail and you're gonna have to buy some wire to install this. Um, easiest place to mount it is gonna be right back here onto your plastic um, wheel well. Um, I usually just run some self taps into there. I usually don't mount it on the metal down here. Um, this is just a safer place. Um, so let me get some wire and I'll start showing you how to cut and crimp. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is get this ready. Um, so all these ends are okay, but I do need more room. So I'm just gonna take this and open it up a little bit further. And this is giving me a little trouble because this little silver piece so if you wanted to cut it off, you could. Because normally it just slides off like that. Okay, now that I've got these there, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut those little tips off. I don't like them. All right, now that we got all those, I'm just gonna twist these so it's easier to put it into the little splitter I'm gonna put it into. All right, so there we go. So you don't have to run a fuse if you don't want to. Now I'm gonna do in this video just to show you. A lot of times what I do is I cut the fuse off the light kit and I reuse it um, on the voltage reducer. But since this light kit came with two, it's less hassle for me just to go ahead and run my own. Okay, so here's the light kit. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut off these two terminal ends. And if you have one wire running like this guy, you can easily cut it a little bit further back here and reuse that terminal. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut and throw these guys away because I'm, I'm gonna be using new ones. Um, and so I'm just gonna cut just right below it and then uh, splice them together. Okay, so this is gonna be the 12 volt going out. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab one of these little guys, I'm going to slide onto here, which I'm going to twist these first. And twist them together. So now I'm going to take this little guy and slide on there. And I like to use vice grips um, just to crimp it on. Um, you can technically use uh, your wire splicers, but vice grips seem to work really well. All right, I got that on. As you can see, I'm just going to squeeze it onto there. It's nice and tight. So now we're going to put that on the 12 going out um, on positive, which is going to be right over here, yellow. So that piece is gonna go right in there. All right, all right. Now that I got that there, all, all crimped on there. Now I'm gonna do the negative side. I'm gonna cut this guy off, open up the wire, and then put it right on the black. Let's actually move. It's this black wire right over here next to the yellow. All right. Cut off the end. Now I'm gonna use this little guy. I'm gonna go ahead and connect those two. Okay, now I've got the negative side, uh, negative 12 volts going from the voltage reducer into the light kit and the positive 12 volts from the reducer into the light kit. So the light kit side is done. Now I just need to wire up the 48 volt point, which is right there. So if you don't, if you didn't order wire with it, you won't get wire with it. So you have to order new wire or go to another hardware store. Um, I typically use 16 gauge. Um, to run this. So I'm going to pull out some black and some red wire 
and go and start uh, cutting it open. All right, cut off some of my black white here, expose the wire. So I'm gonna run it to the negative side, the black wire negative side, and that's the 48 volt side. So I'm gonna go ahead and put one of the blue pieces on here and get it crimped out. All right, so I've already got it crimped right there. Now the other side right here is gonna be the ring terminal side. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my ring terminal, put it on there and use the vice grips to uh, crimp it down. All right, now we got it crimped on there. Usually just wanna give it a tug uh, with the other hand and just make sure it doesn't slide off. Um, if it doesn't slide off, then you're ready to move on. Okay, now on to positive 48, which is gonna be the red wire on this guy, red positive on the 48 side. Okay, now it's time to move over to the fuse. So it did not come with the fuse. So what I'm gonna be doing is putting a 15 amp in there, turn it around and put a 15 amp fuse in there. The reason I'm gonna do this is because the voltage reducer maxes out at 20 amps. So 20 amps max. So I'd rather it blow the fuse and not max this thing out. Um, and that way it'll tell me um, how much juice I'm running through the light kit too. Because if it starts blowing at 15, it knows I'm running a lot of amps through this uh, voltage reducer. But with this LED light kit, um, which is all I'm running through here. So LED light kit, no turn signals. Um, it's only gonna be drawing a few amps, so it's not even gonna be close to blowing this. But if you have like a stereo, chassis lights, full deluxe light kit, which is turn signals and all that, yeah, you could be pushing the limits on this little bitty um, voltage reducer. You may wanna get one that you know operates off the key. But for something as simple as this light kit is, this is the cheaper, um, you know, voltage reducer is just fine for these little guys. Um, so that's why I decided to use this one. So let's get the fuse put in and let's cut that wire open. All right, so I went ahead and opened up the wire, got my fuse in, so that, that right there is done. So now we're going back to the wire that I cut earlier. So now we're gonna use this to extend the wire coming off of the uh, voltage reducer. And then this wire is going to the fuse. And at the end of the fuse, you're gonna be using a terminal end. So at the end of the fuse, terminal end. Let me crimp them on, I'll show you how it looks. All right, so I've got it put together. So as I said, I'm gonna be using the, ex the extension wire coming off the voltage reducer, going down to the fuse, crimped it onto there. Here's my fuse, and then I have my terminal end right there. So now all I gotta do is take off the terminal ends right here, bolt it on, and then I'll, I'll power up my lithium battery. Um, if you're working on lead acid, let me walk over to one of them. So here's how your lead acid battery setup will look. If you're using lead acid, then your 48 volt point, there's your, here's your negative 48, there's your positive 48. So that's where you would hook it up and make sure you put your golf cart in tow, which is a little switch down here um, when you're working. Because once you take the terminal ends off, it could spark, it could arc. Um, you don't want that while you're working. Um, once you get everything put back together, then tighten down, then you can put this back over to run. Um, so that way your controller is now on. But for this one, for this one, all I'm going to be doing is taking off this nut for the positive 48, that nut for the negative 48, and then once I power my battery on, then this should be live, and then I can check voltage. All right, before I hook it up, let's just double check everything. 12 volt light kit, positive going out. 12 volt negative light kit, it is going out to that. So they're both over here, positive, negative. Then we have the negative 48 coming off with the ring terminal, positive 48 coming off with the fuse and ring terminal. So now we're ready to put it on the battery. Okay, and before I mount my voltage reducer up, I wanna make sure everything's right. So I went ahead and put the positive over here. It's snug down, sorry for all the wires. Negatives right here, tighten down. And then I'm gonna check the voltage. So right now I have it plugged into the 12 volt side. That's what I'm most concerned about because I wanna make sure I'm not blowing my light kiss when I turn this on. So I'm not gonna turn on the switch, which is mounted right here. That way it protects the light kit because it, it your light kit stops right here. As soon as you pull that switch, it sends power to the whole light kit. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on my lithium battery, which on lead acid, as soon as you hook it up, you have voltage. 
So it doesn't matter if your cart's in tow, run, as soon as you hook up this voltage reducer to your main uh, positive 48 and your main negative 48, that thing will be live. So do not hook it up and then start to put all this together. That hooking up is the last thing you wanna do before mounting that down. Um, so I'm gonna power this on. Right now we're showing zero on the 12 volt side because the battery's off. Green light means it's on, we're plugged in, and then we have a 12.1 volts. So that means we are good to turn on the lights. So lights work. So that is how you wire it up. Now let's now let's go ahead and um, mount it mount it to this uh, the wheel well plastic piece back here. Um, if you have a lithium battery, the best thing to do when you walk away from the golf cart and you're not going to be driving for a few days, go ahead and turn off the battery, which just hold it down and then it'll power it off and then your lights shut off. The power will start to drop um, as the battery is shutting down. So, you know, no voltage. So we are ready to continue to work on it. Now the light switch is still on, so it doesn't matter because the battery didn't have any power. Um, lead acid, this thing's going to stay live 24 hours a day because it's not hooked to the key, key switch to shut it off. All right, so let's get it mounted back there. And I typically use self taps to run into plastic. It holds it, it, holds it well. Um, I've already put one on that side, so now I'm just gonna do the other one on this side, um, which is gonna secure it. Right, got self taps on both sides of the voltage reducer. Um, it does not come with self taps, doesn't even come with hardware. So you have to um, either use self taps or use you know, a bolt, and, bolt nut and washer, and then just make sure it's secured down. So now what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna use some electrical tape, wrap these guys up, and I'm gonna start zip tying it all down just to get it clean. All right, got everything mounted up, got everything zip tied down, secured. Thanks for watching, guys.